the reason that I am not looking at you is because I'm driving. So please just be understanding there. <laughs> and I'm sorry about it. But today was my second day of work. I think it went pretty well, pretty good. Everybody that I work with was like telling me how terrible it is, but so far it doesn't seem that awful. So it's cool. I'm a baker. I am a baker for a large college um, in a city that I live close to. So yeah, I like quite literally was just making desserts all day and yeah I was making a 30 pound batch of cheesecake and I accidentally set the mixer on a three <sighs> my bowl was really full really full um, and when it hit three it started spraying like, I'm telling you, it it was pumpkin cheesecake batter, and, dude, that shit flew. And it was orange, because I had put some dye in it. It was a disaster. It was everywhere. I had to take the cover off the mixer. I had to clean the mixer. I had to freaking mop the floor. There was three people cleaning this up, including me. Yeah, so that shit was just that shit was just I don't even know it was irritating but I eventually got to pass that task off because I was um, cleaning up my station and everything and I wanted to make sure that I could have enough time to clean before I left so I ended up not really having to do the rest of it, and that is fine with me, because I was pretty tired by that point. But yeah, driving home now from work, and I picked up my daughter, so yeah, my love, my lovely man, he uh, should be home by the time I get home, because he got off early today, which is awesome. We love that. <sighs> Guys, I feel like I'm not really, I don't know what to talk about. I don't know what to talk about. I'm kind of tired. What am I going to do when I get home? That's something I need to think about. Shit. Hmm. I am going. I need to wash the bottles. I need to put laundry away. read my book, work on some YouTube stuff, maybe do some yoga or something like that, things that would benefit me, those things would benefit me, so I probably could do that, I need to get out of these clothes first and foremost, because my pants are covered in that orange cheesecake batter, absolutely covered, um, yeah, I think if there any is any other fun stories from work that I want to tell you actually yes there is so I got this baking job when this woman named I'm not going to give you her real name named Crystal came in to where I was working at Food Lion and she was getting some meat sliced and I was also over there working on cupcakes and stuff and she was like hey you know if you ever want a job um jmu's hiring in the bakery department i was like what i was i had been manifesting at that point for maybe a few months two months or so i had been manifesting that i wanted a higher paying better job opportunity and it walked right into my hands quite literally um, she gave me her phone number. I messaged her. I got a job. Bing, bang, boom. Um, so, Crystal, and then... She, Crystal was kind of like the assistant chef, basically. I was trying to 
tractor trailer's being wonky as hell. Anyway, Crystal's like the assistant um, manager. And there's another woman, say her name is Anne. Anne is like the actual manager. So that was when I first got the job last September 2021. And we all had like the same kind of crew from the whole time that I was there. I got pregnant while I was working, so I did. Um, I did have to wait a little bit before I came back after the school year started because I was on maternity leave. But last year it was Anne, Crystal, a couple of college girls, and then two state employees who, you know, they're older. They work pretty consistently, you know. And Anne, the manager, was kind of like a control freak in a way, but she did teach me a lot. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take that away from her just because she was strict with how she wanted things. She was particular. That's the word. She was very particular and she wanted things the way she wanted them and if they weren't, um she's gonna redo it. And she did. She did that often. She spent long nights in the bakery. Um, honestly, don't think that she really had much else going on with her life. But anyway, you know, the summer comes. Um, I'm, I have my baby. I'm on maternity leave. And then this new school year starts is starting up. You know, college kids are coming back. Work is starting back up again. Um, yeah, work is starting back up again. And I come to find out that lit bro. I'm sorry, I almost just, I pretty much just gave you her real name. Oops. Anne is, um, moving. Moving to North Carolina. And we're all just kind of like, what? You're moving to North Carolina? Yeah. And within like a week, she moved. So, she did give me this amazing baby gift. It's a cake. It's a three-tier cake made out of diapers. It's not a real cake. Um. I'll insert footage so you can see what it is, but it's really cute, and, um, yeah, she left, so then Anne's gone, the main manager who ran that show, like, ran it hard, um, she was a great boss, she managed things very well, but then, after she left, Crystal is, like, losing it, because there's so much work going on. They have so much to do. Um, she's just stressing. It's a lot for her. And her, you know, boss that she's been working with for years at this point, years, um, left. And there's a new boss. Her name is Sam. And she is not an Ann. She's simply not an Anne. She is not a go, go after it, make everything perfect. And I, so far, I'm only on my second day of work, obviously. So, like, I don't know. It's not a football week this week. So, I don't know the, the length it's going to get to. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. Uh, Crystal had a breakdown moral of the story she had a breakdown through one of her tarts at the wall I wasn't there to witness it but I did hear firsthand from her what happened she threw her tart at the wall she threw her um cream whatever she was working on down on the ground and she left and she told the new manager Sam fuck you on the way out so yeah, and she has not come back. She's going to a different hall to work with a different crew. And it's sad because I really loved her. She she was a stoner. She was like a about 40-year-old woman. She was she was really cool. So yeah, she's gone. And then there's another guy that's new as well as all of our same state employees and college girls. It's not that bad. I have friends every day, pretty much, because, you know, I've become really, like, 
friendly with the college girls that I work with. So, it's not too bad. But yeah, it's different. It's definitely a lot different than it was before I came back. It's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah. I'm almost home now, so I don't really have anything else to say. I guess I'm going to go home and do the washing of bottles. Um, put away laundry, like I said. Yeah. And have a good evening. And I hope you all have a good evening or night or morning or whatever. Whatever it is, wherever you are. Um, okay. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hi, everybody. Ugh, sorry, starting the video off that way, but I do not feel very well. I think I'm having allergies or a cold or something, but my nose is all stuffed up. My head hurts. I have a sore throat. So, if I sound weird, that's why. But anyway, I just got home and you can see the car seat back there. I have little Evie with me. Um, I'm about to go inside, take care of her, get her changed, um, new diaper, all that stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty much just gonna show you what I do in the evening after work. I worked, um, I'm off a little early today just because of, like, m mine and my, um, husband's schedule. So, I'm off a little early today. I just poked her in the eye. Okay, so as you can see, I'm home, I'm inside. I lugged everything I needed to into the house. And it's time to wind down from work, chillax, get some stuff done, feel good about myself. I'm already straightening up a little bit. I'm gonna fold some laundry. Yeah, I'll show you here. Um, that's an awful shot, huh? This could be a good podcast area. Wow. Yeah, now that I think about it, this is a podcast area. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm going to fold this laundry. Another thing I need to do is... Uh, what do I need to do? Put dishes away. I need to do that. Um, I also got some meat out because guess what? I forgot to get it out of the freezer. Like I have for literally the past three days. And the thing is, in the mornings, I wake up and I'm like, okay, I need to do this, this, and this. I get my cup of water. I put ice in it from the freezer. While I'm in the freezer, I'm looking in there. I'm like, okay, I'm going to grab the pork chop as soon as I get this water. Instantly forget. Instantly forget. Like. So anyway. I got ground beef out. And I put it in some hot water too. Obviously I mean the ground beef is like in a container. So. No stupid. Jesus. I don't know why I got like a. Deep voice there for a second. But anyway. <sighs> Feeling a little tired. Definitely a little tired. I could go for a nap and a, I could go for a hot shower and then a nap. That would be amazing. And I think I just might do that after I get all of these little things I want to be done situated. Because if I get all of it done today, I don't have to worry about it tomorrow. And that's my philosophy, honestly. Like, think about, this is how I think about some chores and stuff that I might not necessarily want to do. Or when there's something I need to be doing for myself to better myself in, you know, the future. May that be the end of that day or like a year from now, you know what I mean? 
I always get myself to do those tasks, to complete them by saying that I'm doing it for my future self, you know? I'm doing it for her so that she doesn't have to worry about it because I'm doing it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm setting myself up for success, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah. And you got to do that, you know, to complete these tasks. I listened to this audiobook one time. I think it was called The Compound Effect. Um and it has some really insightful points about how you may not see the big picture like this day you start you know like if you have some habits that you want to start um like implementing in your life you need to do you need to do it and like think of the fact that you're in your day Right now, you have the tools gifted to you to do this. This is part of my own thinking, and I'm tying it into the book, but stick with me here. Um, you're in this moment, and you're, you are gifted with your hand, your mouth, your words, your eyes, your ears, um, your surroundings, your access to different things via the internet, stores, etc. We are gifted with so many options around us and it's really 444. I had been filming for 4 minutes and 44 seconds. Anyway, um What am I even ranting about right now? <laughs> Not ranting, but like giving an inspirational speech on. Um yeah, you just got to take take the moment, grab it by the horns, and just go for it. In the book, it's saying, you know, little by little, you may not... Say you start a YouTube channel, um, you may not instantly have that following as soon as you upload the video, but you're doing it step by step, taking all of the opportunities in order to get there. Because you, you have it at the tip of your fingers. And each day... Say I make a video today and I, I make one tomorrow. Say this is my first YouTube video and I had none. Then I have one. And then I'll have two. And eventually I'll have five, six, seven. And people will be able to see my history of them. I'll have greater chances of people being able to view it. Um, time is going to pass regardless of if you're going for your goals or not. And it's scary. It's definitely scary. And it gives me anxiety. And I deal with that a lot. But you just, you have to go for it. The time will pass regardless. And do you want to take the time that you have in this moment? Being mindful of what you are able to do in this moment. To make your life your favorite thing like you have the ability so anyway inspirational talk is done um i need to fold this laundry and i'll get back with you later but hope that resonated with you in some way hi everybody i'm back um i'm here with my little baby say hi she's a beautiful angel um She's drinking up her little bottle. I'm going to sit here and talk to her and all that. Um, where we last left off was... I was folding laundry, I think. Yeah, I did that. I took a shower and I have not done anything else. So. I hear people talking outside. It's like... Weirdly loud. <laughs> Anyway, um, I feel like garbage. My head hurts. My freaking temples are like aching. Ugh. Excuse me. 
Yeah, I don't know. And I'm probably not going to really do much else. It is currently 4.43, about to turn 4.44. And was it 4.44 earlier that I saw? I just saw 1.11. I was recording for 1 minute and 11 seconds. Wow, this is a good sign. Anyways, uh, yeah, so now I'm just kind of vibing. I do, however, have a book I can read. It is The Return by Nicholas Sparks. It's kind of slow, to be honest. Like, I'm halfway through and, like, not much has really happened, honestly. But... I started it, so I'm going to finish it. I want to see if it gets good. Like, I need the romance to... Come on. Where's where's it at? We're halfway through, and they haven't even, like, smooched. I thought this was a love story. Um, anyway. Yeah. So, along with that book, I also have these books. The Lilac House, Amy Bender, stop, I just called that Amy Bender, that's the author, why is her name bigger than the title, it's called The Color Master, this is The Humans, and this is The Curiosities, I got all those books from a big like book fair thing that they have near me so yeah I have all those books I'm really excited to get more into reading I honestly thought I was going to be doing a little more this evening I had kind of set in my mind that I was going to do like all these chores so I didn't have to do it tomorrow which I still I can still put away the clothes and put away the dishes. That's not that hard. Um, it doesn't require much physical energy to do those things. So I can definitely do that. I already picked up the room. Damn, maybe I did more than I am giving myself credit for. Wow. So yeah, I'm still going to put away laundry and put away dishes so that that is donezo as well. Um... Wow, this is super boring. I'm not doing anything exciting, huh? But I guess this is what you signed up for, so. Take it or leave it, bucko. Sorry, I don't know why I said that. Um, yeah. Tomorrow's Saturday. It's the weekend. A -A -A. It's gonna be a good weekend. And I hope all of you are having a good day, whatever day it is that you're watching. <sighs> or night, or evening, or morning, whatever. Whatever it is, I hope that you have a good one. So yeah, I suppose that I'll give you guys some more updates if I actually start doing anything interesting. Bye!